Okay, the first step is going to be to pull the handle and take off the side panel. In order to determine what video card will work, you need to take into account a few things. This is a mini tower, so it needs to be a low profile video card. Um, I'm going to measure the available space inside here. We are at exactly seven inches. Now, in deciding what video card to go with, um, I made a chart here. Uh, the Gigabyte low profile video card is the shortest at 167 millimeters. In inches, it looks like we'll have a problem with the MSI. Uh, the Zotac, not real sure about. So we might have to push some cords out of the way, which I would rather not. I'd rather go with the Gigabyte model. Um, the length and the number of fans doesn't really make a big difference in performance. I've seen um, several benchmark tests where the performance differences are negligible. So we have our Gigabyte 1050 Ti right here. Now our video card came with one of these. Uh, kids, I don't know if you uh, have seen one of these before. But what this is is a uh, tiny Frisbee with a hole in it. Uh, normally you would use one of these tiny Frisbees to install a driver, but um, in this machine we have replaced the disk drive with a solid state drive to run the operating system. Uh, we left the original hard disk drive in place to be mass storage for, uh, for games. So no, no uh, disk drive. We'll have to get our driver off the internet. Now this video card came with a uh, full height bracket. So what you're going to want to do is remove that bracket and replace it with the low profile version of the bracket. So when installing this, you just flip this out of the way, um, remove these brackets carefully, not like I did it. And then, uh, before you can install this, you're gonna need to take its shoe off. There we go. And then you just plug it straight down in there. And we got cords in the way. Darn cords. And it goes right in. And then lastly, you just flip that closed and you put the lid back on. All right, we got our video card installed and the computer is back over here. So we're going to see how she does. Just now turning it on. Don't know if the monitor is going to... Yep, the monitor jumped on. It looks like it's running through the video card. Yeah, it looks like everything is a little bit lower uh, resolution. All right, I'm on the Gigabyte website, and before I could install the driver, uh, the monitor refreshed, and it looks like it automatically installed the driver because the resolution went way up. And um, right down here, you can see. Yep. <laughs> Just got installed, check it out. Okay, so we're checking out the NVIDIA control panel. Uh, there's a license agreement, so we'll for sure not read that. Agree and continue. And there it is. All right, today we're going to be installing a G-Force 10. And then you just flip that closed. And it looks like I didn't do it right. And then lastly, you just flip this closed. It's still not closing.